welcome students uh, today our topic is underground cables uh, a considerable amount of transmission and distribution of uh, electrical energy especially in densely populated urban areas is carried out by means of underground cables if the in uh, ar urban areas uh, where very dense populated areas there then uh, it is better to do a underground wiring or underground cables the underground cable are rugged in construction and provide greater service reliability increased safety better appearance and trouble free service under variety of environmental condition whatever the environmental condition they are providing a very good reliability so uh, when we talk about the application of underground cables underground cables uh, are necessary for supply a connection in the electrical plant in generating station transmission system and distribution system a utilization plant and so on so we have a various type of application of the underground cables a uh, list of example of underground cable application for a connection one apparatus with the other uh, are the followings that are the supply power to the individual machine apparatus in electrical plant that these are supply to the uh, various electrical machines connection between switch gear and individual load or we can say the group load also uh, connection between auxiliary transformer and switch gears sub transmission line between receiving sub station and distribution sub station so these are the also the application of underground cables now uh, underground uh, distribution uh, system was the overhead line when we look through uh, in a brief that these are underground system are providing better safety than the overhead uh, system and it also provide better reliability because uh, the overhead system is exposed to the environment and it is uh, the overhead lines are affected by the environmental itself so and there is no environmental impact on the underground cable or underground distribution system so it is uh, provide better reliability of supply also interference or uh, disturbance on the underground cables are very low and when we talk about the maintenance yes uh, uh, because it is underground so maintenance is a very typical part uh, in the underground system but uh, it is uh, very easy to do maintenance in the overhead lines but due to underground uh, system uh, it is very rare chances there is fault will occur and uh, the environmental impact on the underground system is very low as compared to the overhead lines and when we talk about the economics uh, uh, in the underground system we have to dig out the throughout the line and we have to make a ca cable lay or a cable trench we have to lie down the cable and we have to bury it so lot of uh, manpower are required in this and it, so because of that it is costly uh, than the overhead lines now a cable uh, must uh, fulfill the following necessary requirements uh, these are the conductor used in cable should be tinted strapped conduct uh, strapped or uh, tinted stand standard uh, copper or aluminum or high conductivity stranding is done so that conductor may become flexible and carry more current the conductor size should be such that the cable carries the desired load current without overheating and causes voltage drop with permissible limit the cable must have proper thickness of insulation in order to give high degree of safety and reliability at the voltage for which it is designed so it have to be uh, used or it has to be reliable for uh, for which voltage it is designed the cable must be provided with suitable mechanical pr uh, protection so that it may withstand the rough use in laying it so when we lay the cable we are using uh, rough uh, so uh, uh, the mechanical protection is just like that uh, it can bear the that force or uh, it should not damage any conductor the material uh, used in the manufacture of cable should be such that there is complete chemical and physical stability throughout so whatever the chemical we are, material we are using so it should be uh, not physically damaged it should be proper or it have to be in a good condition 
now when we look to the construction of a underground cable you can easily say in the figure we have a conductor here over the conductor we provided that the insulation on each and every conductor we have a insulation over that uh, that insulation we provided a inner sheath it is also a metal part and uh, uh, or a and over the sheath we are providing that beading and over the beading we have the armoring the armoring definitely are uh, generally we have uh, gi strips on the cables and overall or uh, in the outer location we have a that uh, outer sheath outer sheath is uh, generally we have a black color pvc uh, we are using and uh, so it is a general the look out the construction of a cable now uh, the core or conductor a cable may one or more than one core depending upon the type of service for which uh, it is intended for instance the three conductor uh, cable shown in a figure is used for three phase service the conductor are made of tintin copper or aluminium and are usually stranded in order to provide flexibility to the cable each core or conductor is provided with a suitable thickness of insulation the thickness of layer depending upon the voltage to be withstood by the cable the commonly used material for insulation are impregnated paper varnish cambric or rubber mineral compounds these are the basic insulation material and in order to protect the cable from moisture gases or other damaging liquid uh, like uh, acid or alkaline in the uh, soil and atmosphere the metallic sheath of aluminum or lead is provided over the insulation so uh, our uh, conductor is totally secure in this insulation and this metallic sheath now uh, over the metallic sheath uh, is applied a layer of beading which consists of a fibrous material like jute or resin tape the purpose of beading is to protect the metallic sheath against corrosion and from mechanical injury due to armoring over the beading armoring is provided which consists of one or two layer of galvanized steel or galvanized wire or galvanized steel wire or steel tape it purpose is to protect uh, the cable uh, from mechanical injury while laying and during the course of handling armoring may not be done in the case of some cables in some cable, cable we are not uh, done the armoring but it is uh, mandatory or it is necessary to done armoring because uh, while laying or while handling the labor are uh, using or handling the cable very badly so uh, while they are uh, uh, laying uh, the cable uh, it may be chances uh, there is will be damage in order to protect armoring from atmosphere condition a layer of fibrous material similar to beading is provided over the armoring this is known as serving it may not be out uh, out of place to mention that the beading armoring and serving are only applied to the cable for the protection of conductor insulation and to protect the metallic sheath from the mechanical injury when we talk about the insulating material of the cable the insulating material used in uh, cable should have the following properties and these are the uh, high insulation resistance to avoid leakage current high dielectric strength to avoid electrical breakdown of the cable high mechanical strength to withstand the mechanical handling of cables non hygroscopic that is it should not absorb moisture from air or soil if it is absorb the moisture then the our cable will be damaged and the life will be very short the moisture tend to decrease the insulation resistance and has in the breakdown of the cable the in case the insulation material is hygroscopic it must be enclosed in a waterproof covering like lead sheet etc it should be the insulating material should be non inflammable and it has a very low cost so as to make the underground system a viable proposition if the cost of the insulating material is too high then it is a very uh, tough choice to choose an underground cable unaffected by acid and alkalines to avoid 
any chemical action and low coefficient of thermal expansion it should have be there in each and every insulating material which we are using in underground cables. Now the various type of uh, material which we are using presently are the rubber, vulcanized Indian rubber, impregnated paper, varnished cambric and polyvinyl chloride. These five are the uh, we are using. Now when we talk about the classification of cable, we have the five classification that these are the low tension cable which we are using up to the 1000 volt. High tension cable, these are uh, we are using up to the 11,000 volt. Super tension cables, these are we are using the 22 kV to 33 kV. An extra high tension cable uh, th that we call EHT cables, and these are using from uh, 33 kV to 66 kV. Extra uh, super voltage cable that beyond 132 kV. A cable may have one or more than one core depending. So, uh, up to that we are using underground cables. Now, uh, when we go through the underground cable, we have a certain advantages of that underground cable that are, these are suitable for congested urban areas because in the urban areas uh, there is uh, very less chances to done a overhead wiring or overhead transmission system. So, it is better to done a underground system. Because uh, one time we are uh, just uh, bear the capital cost, but the overall life is very good. Require low maintenance as damage rate is very low. Ensure small voltage drop in the underground cable. The voltage drop is very small. Not easy to steal and damage. There is uh, the theft and decoy losses. The th theft losses are very less in underground cables because there is very less chances to theft electricity from the underground cable. Avoid the chances of illegal connections and the protection from environmental stresses like wind, storm and thunder and others. So it will protect from the environmental also. Now it has uh, some drawbacks. These are the high installation cost because it uh, uh, include uh, high manpower also. Difficult to repair, if the fault is there, it is difficult to find. Initially, we have a very uh, invest uh, more time to identify where is the fault and when the fault is fine, then uh, we have a, it is very difficult to repair. Difficult to find in the actual location of underground cable because if the uh, cable uh, lay is proper and cable trench is proper, then it is very easy. But in generally, the cable is just uh, buried. In, so, it is very difficult to find the actual location of the cable. So, and then unwanted digging can be causes environmental pollution also. Sometimes uh, unwanted digging also damage the underground cable also. Now, when we talk about the laying of underground cables, we have uh, three types of laying that these are the direct laying of underground cables, drawing system and solid system. These three types of uh, laying we have. In the direct uh, laying of underground cable, uh, what we are doing, we are just uh, digging the cable lay and just uh, we are placing uh, the soft sand and we are lie down our conductor and just uh, fill the sand. Just uh, and over the uh, sand, we are just uh, put a two brick and just buried that place. It just uh, called the direct laying of underground cable. You can easily see in the uh, figure that uh, we have a cable trench in depth we just uh, just uh, filling the sand and put the cable here and again fill the sand and just put two brick over there and just fill it so the advantage of this method is that uh, it is simple and less costly method it gives the best condition for dissipating the heat generated in the cables it is a clean and safe method as the cable is invisible and free from external disturbances and it has a uh, many drawbacks like the extension of load is possible only by a complete new excavation which may cost uh, as much as the original work. The alteration in the cable network cannot be made easily. The maintenance cost is very high. Localization of fault is very difficult in this method. If uh, this type of cabling is done then the localization of fault is very difficult. 
it cannot be used in congested area where excavation is expensive and inconvenient this method of laying cable is used in open areas where excavation can be done conveniently at a very low cost now we have a second method of cable laying that is drawing system and in this we are just make our cable lay and we are putting our cable just one by one so uh, it has a advantage that the repair alteration or addition to the cable network can be made without opening the ground we uh, no need to uh, dig out all the cables just we have to just uh, uh, put it and fill it as the cable are not armored therefore joints become simpler and maintenance cost is reduced considerably there are very few chances of fault occur due to the strong mechanical protection provided by the system and it has a uh, drawbacks that are the initial cost is very high and the current carrying capacity of the cable is reduced due to the close group of cable and unfavorable condition of dissipation of heat now we have a last type that is solid system in this uh, we are just uh, make arrangement of cable lay we have uh, just doing the uh, make a cement structure uh, throughout the lay where we have to lay the cable and each cable have a individual lay so the cable will run in his own lay and overall structure is uh, covered by a uh, solid uh, material like uh, we are just uh, do a rcc over there and we are just uh, by a wall uh, we are just placing a cap over there in this method of underground cable the cable is laid in open pipe or through dug out in the earth along the cable route the throwing off is of cast iron stoneware asphalt or treated wood after the cable is laid in position the throwing is filled with a bituminous or a asphaltic compound and covered over cable laid in this manner are usually plain lead covered because through affords good mechanical protection because we required a good mechanical protection is there the drawback of the system is it is more expensive than the direct lead system it required skilled labor and favorable weather conditions due to poor heat dissipation fa facilities the current carrying capacity of the cable is reduced now the uh, we are uh, seen the how the cable is laying and the cable is also laying at a uh, different location or we can say that these are the special location like from the uh, for the road crossing uh, for the railway crossing for the water main crossing communication line crossing internal in bridges so these are the special location we are not just uh, cut the roads and dig the cable no we are just uh, like uh, in for the laying in this in this type of special location we just horizontally drilling and then we are just uh, pour the cable that's all for today the next topic we are discussing in next class